on the Virginia Tech campus looking at some red cedar trees with galls forming on the branches in early March. These galls look like they may be insect galls, and in fact a lot of galls on trees are caused by insects. But the way we can tell that these are actually caused by a fungus is the formation of these little spore horns that are starting to form on the galls. And this, these are galls of the cedar apple rust fungus. The disease it causes is called cedar apple rust, and the reason for the name is that this rust fungus, like a lot of other rust fungi, has two different hosts to complete its life cycle. It needs both hosts. And uh, part of the life cycle is spent on the red cedar where these galls are formed. And these galls, these particular galls, formed last spring and then they matured through the fall and they're still maturing. And then this spring they're going to produce the spores that you see starting to form here. These spore horns, as they're called, will become really long and bright orange. As the spores form, they produce other spores that then are blown over to apple leaves just at the right time as the apple leaves are maturing. And those spores will infect the apple leaves and cause spots on apple or the related crab apple. And we'll, we'll look at those symptoms later in the season. The galls themselves don't cause too much of a problem on red cedar, except that they're kind of ugly or beautiful. If you're a plant pathologist, you may think that. Um, and after the spores are formed, these galls will stop producing spores. They just produce the spores one year, and then they'll hang on to the tree. So you'll be able to see old galls that are not active on the tree, and we can see some of those on this tree. But Typically, you don't see a lot of problem on the red cedar. Sometimes you can get some dieback above the galls. In this case, we don't see that. The galls are kind of one-sided on the limb. They're just kind of a decoration. The spore horns that you see on these cedar apple rust galls here the first week of April are fully mature. They're bright orange and gelatinous and very obvious on the plant.